This Roblox hat is animated. It is a Roblox hat that literally moves. Pretty cool, right? Right? Well, actually, no. It's not cool. And let me explain why. Due to a new update, Roblox hats have been completely ruined. Almost anyone can upload anything they want, and as you can imagine, that leads to a lot of rule breakers. So I'm giving myself 20 minutes to find as many rule breaking hats as possible to raise awareness for this. And if you want to help, you can like the video because that raises awareness too. But yeah, surprisingly, despite this hat being animated, it doesn't break the rules. It's just really cool. So good for you, I guess. But let's get into some hats that do. This is a copy of the Roblox UGC Terms of Use. And the first type of hat breaking the rule on the Roblox catalog is so common. You've probably seen it everywhere. Hats that imitate faces. Masks. There's a new trend where people are just like having no background, so it looks like an actual face like this. And these are literally everywhere. I looked at the catalog for like three seconds. Genuinely, like three seconds there everywhere you look, you can't escape them. The rule that these break, avoid making items that are intentionally the wrong item type, especially items that mimic item types that are not yet UGC, like face body parts. So all these faces are breaking the rules actively. And I know damn well half of you watching this video wear one of these faces. You're breaking the rules. You're aiding and abetting. Get out of here. Get out of here. Now, the next type of rule breaking hats is a little more obvious. Hats that just break copyright. Hats that you cannot make because of a copyrighted series, which by the way is right here. Make original items, avoid copyright and trademarks, which you'd think, oh, no one would be dumb enough to make copyrighted items. That's stupid. Don't be stupid. Well, here we are. For the first one, stolen pixel art of Nyan Cat's face, which by the way, copyrighted. By the way, is really stolen. Look at this. It is genuinely ripped. Just stolen pixel art. You're not allowed to make money using other people's intellectual property. That is against the rules. Here's another example. Serious Go Face V2. I will let you guess what this is copying. Yeah, it's almost like the art style is instantly recognizable. It's Dragon Ball. And it's not a directly ripped face because look, they included the nose in a different item. That's awesome. They separate the nose and the face so they can't get sued. That, that is actually pretty smart. Oh, and continuing with the anime theme, this one is just One Piece. The Luffy from One Piece. Like there's Zoro from One Piece underneath him. And these are really spot on faces by the way. I don't know if they drew this art to avoid copyright or just ripped it, but it looks like they just ripped it. They are very spot on. Oh, look, here's another Dragon Ball one. Oh, this one's fun. This one's from Chainsaw Man, which by the way, very copyrighted. You're not allowed to do that. It's just, why do they get away with this? Why do they just not get punished for doing this? Dude, eventually Roblox is gonna get sued if they do not rein in these creators. I don't know what the update was, but it looks like almost anybody can make UGC, which is horrifying because we have bad actors like this. And also, I decided to throw in one that is a good example of non-copyrighted items. Look, obviously this is Tank Man. It's from a popular video game and a popular site. But, thanks to Johnny Utandu Grounds for authorizing this hat to be uploaded to Roblox. Someone got permission! They actually got permission! <laughs> Shout out to you, Capilar1. You did good. You did a good job. In a world full of thieves and scams, you actually were a good person. Congratulations. You have earned it. This next guy is not. This is just a hat from an anime. I'm sure you recognize the anime, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Anyways, that's enough copyright before I get sued for having it in the video. Let's move on to the next category of banned items. And this category is very, very bad. The other ones could be forgiven if you're like insane, but even if you were insane, this next category cannot be forgiven. And it gets a lot of people mad. And that, of course, would be copying limiteds. Which, by the way, are so awesome. Spiky green horns, limited time. Time. Going off sale in 24 hours. That'll be something I get to later, but that is also a scam that should be deleted. But these are obviously copying the poison green horns on Roblox. They're very, very popular limited. Multiple videos have been made about these. But what they want you to do is look up horns limited and boom, horns limited time. And the coolest part about the limited time thing is that it's not going off sale in 24 hours. I wonder when they wrote that. Oh, five days ago. It's almost like they're lying. It's almost like they're lying. That's kind of cool. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to lie. Come on. Come on, man. And boy, wait till you see how many of these were made. Look at all of 
these. Look at every single one of these. And they're all made by different people. UGC City, Vinyl Market, Austin and Bree, Tiny Trampoline, Chic Salon. Every single one is made by different people. One of them is named Beast Burgers. That's copyrighted. You can't do that. It's insane. It is crazy. And this is a problem that has existed for a while and continues to exist. I pulled this one out. It's actually pretty original. I wouldn't even consider it like a copy, but it is obviously like inspired by the domino crown. It's called a crown too, but this one is actually original. I would keep it up. But look at this video by Isotoxic. Shout out to him. Look at this item. It's copying the green eyes limited face. It is just absurd. But what if I told you it gets even worse? I'm not lying. But before I cover that, subscribe. I like to ask at the middle of the video because by now you know if you want to subscribe or not. It's your choice. I'm not gonna beg you. And I'm also not gonna waste your time. Back to the video. So what could be worse than copying what looks like a Roblox item? If your answer was directly ripping a Roblox item, you'd be correct. I doubt that I need to pull up the rule that says you can't do this, but I'll do it anyways. Do not use Roblox assets as a final item or even as a starting point. I tried to make an item that looked like an old Roblox model of a monkey that they never used and it got rejected. So how did Xenes R literally just rip the bacon hair? He literally put this into studio, put Maple Sticks glasses on him, and then uploaded it. He not only stole a Roblox asset, but a UGC asset that was made by a good UGC creator. Xenes R, what are you doing? Why did you just rip it? Straight rip. It is literally ripped. By the way, I just want to point this out because it's funny. You can make this whole outfit for less money than you could buy it for from Xenes R. Maybe it would make sense if this was less expensive than the full outfit, but it's not. He's just copying. And that is why I'm suing Roblox. <laughs> chop, chop, boys. Class action lawsuit inbound. And not only that, he didn't stop at that. No, no, the monster. He kept going. Look at this. Look at this pendant. Look at it. He ripped it. Oh my God, they massacred my boy. They decapitated him. They shrunk his head in a bottle of gold. And they put him on a necklace. I feel like my mind is slowly breaking. The fact people can just do this and not get punished. Look, Roblox, okay. If you want to make UGC available to everyone, go for it. But enforce your rules! Literally, there's a document of rules in front of me. Look at this. Read your own rules. If there is an admin watching this video, please read your own rules. But no, I, I feel like if Roblox saw this video, their first instinct would be to kick me out of the star program. In which case, I would get a very free video idea. So, works for me. Anyway. I'm done with the bacon hair hat thing. Look, here's some other things that rip Roblox assets. The eyeless smile head, which is literally the Roblox noob head without eyes. And there's like three of these, which is awesome. Oh, and check this out. This one's just a ball with a noob face on it. It's literally just as low pixel poly as the original noob face, which is kind of hilarious. They are really copying it. But yeah, that's pretty bad, right? But what if I told you there's more? There's more ways for people to break the rules because one, two, what are we, three, four? Four ways was not enough. People need to break the rules in other ways. And the next way is impersonating Roblox heads. As the rule says, stay away from head body parts. But what do people do? What do they do? They take Roblox's trust and they stab them in the back. They twist the knife. They spit in the mouths of Roblox and spit in the mouths of our innocent children. Look at this balloon head for headless. There is a genre of Roblox hats that are designed to be worn with the headless head to act as a head package. And guess what? Breaking the rules. You're not allowed to impersonate Roblox heads. You can't do it. This this one's against the rules. Balloon head, stupid. Toroid hexagonal head, stupid. Wedge head, honestly pretty cool, but against the rules. And also very low effort. They're stealing the little Roblox face in these ones too. This is double rule breaking. You can't steal the face and steal the head models. And then Roblox just doesn't do anything about it. God, it would be so funny if Roblox doesn't ban any of these hats and then punishes me for making this video. I'm predicting it now. That is a possible outcome. And there's of course one more head, which is the spike head. Awesome. I'm so cool. I'm sick of this. Sick of all these heads. Sick of all these rule breakers. Roblox not enforcing their rules is obviously a bad thing. But hear me out. I know I've spent this whole video convincing you it's a bad thing. And the things we've looked at have been bad. But it's also a good thing. There are some Roblox UGC rules that are just dumb for me, for everyone involved. So I'm going to look at some hats that break those rules, but I don't care. Starting off with no blood. UGC is not supposed to have blood, which I'm showing off by showing you blood vomit. Ah, bleeding scratch dark red. What's this? Bleeding scratch normal 
all red? Ah, the blood crown. Ominous and horrifying. And against the rules. What? I don't think they should be against the rules. I like blood as much as the next guy. I like blood on outfits. It's fine. There's blood on shirts. There's even blood on, like, official Roblox items, I'm pretty sure. So why would this be against the rules? I don't know. At least it's not a well-enforced rule. And you know what? Another one that I'm fine with is weapons. You're not supposed to make realistic weapons on Roblox, but I mean, knife. Oh, what's this? It's a knife. I like how it's titled with ketchup, pretending that's not blood. What is this one? A knife. Awesome. All these people say with ketchup, like they're gonna ban them for using blood. So what have we learned? Roblox does not enforce their own rules and they should. Please raise awareness for this. I know I always ask you to raise awareness and you never do, but please just do whatever you want. And with that being said, I'm gonna go steal Roblox items for money. Thank you.